So if you want to create a Google form with limitations on the number of people signing up for a session or, or different options, uh, it's really simple to do. So the very first thing you'll want to do is go right down here to new and go to more and go to Google forms. Okay, so we're in Google Drive doing this. When you do that, then you'll want to create your own Google form. I've created mine right here. Now this is the new version of Google Forms. However, if you're more comfortable with the older version, if you click on this little man right here, it'll take you back to the older version of Google Forms, and you can toggle back and forth between the two. I'm going to actually be showing you how to do this in the new Google Forms. All right, so first of all, you want to actually add um, different names, uh, boxes right here for the first name, last name, and any other type of information that you want. Uh, remember, you can click on the plus sign right here, and then you can add any type of question. For uh, what we're going to be doing, you'll probably want to stick within uh, right here multiple choice uh, check boxes or drop down uh, boxes for the types of questions that you'll be doing. All right, so I created my Google form. I have a first name, last name, and then I have three sign up types. Now, in the new Google Forms, all of your responses are now in this tab. So if you click on Responses, you're not going to see anything. You actually have to click right here on this spreadsheet. So if I click on that, what it does is it creates a spreadsheet for my answers. You'll notice that it has a timestamp, has a column for my name columns, and then the sign-up time. And then right down here, it has a tab. So all of my data is entered in the form but goes into this spreadsheet, okay? And you can always access that simply by clicking on the Responses tab. All right, so let's see how exactly we should set up uh, so that we can limit responses. So probably the easiest thing to do is go right down here to where the uh, plus sign is. That's where you're gonna add a sheet. This is called a sheet. So this is sheet number one with all your form responses. I'm gonna click on the plus sign and it'll add sheet two. I'm going to put the following column titles up at the top. So I put these in here. Now, in order for me to actually see what they, they mean right here, I can just double click uh, and that'll allow me to see the, the column title names. So I have revised session name, original session name, session count, and then session limit. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna have to do is set up some equations so that we are ready to roll. And it might not be a bad idea to change this name right down here at sheet two to something else. Uh, just so that you're aware that these are the session limits. So I'm going to actually just type in session limits. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that we'll want to do is work here in column B. And you see where it says original session name? Well, what we're going to do is go back to our Google form. Okay. We're going to go right here to where it says questions. And we need to make sure that this right here, this information, is exactly the same or our formulas won't work. So I'm just going to paste, I'm going to go back, I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste, uh, just so that we have the exact same title. So these are all of our session titles and session names. So that's the very first thing that you'll do. The second thing that you're going to do is we want to set up an equation right here so that we can figure out, okay, how many um, people are actually attending this session, um, the next session, and the next session. So it's really simple. We're going to type in equals. We're going to uh, type in the equation count if and then open parentheses. Then we're going to go right down here to our form responses one tab. When you go there, we're going to go to the column containing our sign up times. And I labeled it as sign up time. Now, if, note if you have multiple columns of data, you're going to have to do this for each column. It's really highly recommended that you create a separate tab for each column of information, just FYI. So, all right, so let's click right here on D. Um, then I'm gonna hit the column, uh, this right here, this uh, comma. I'm gonna go right over to session limits and I'm going to click right here on the session name and then close the parentheses. So anytime that it sees on the form responses tab, this right here, it's going to count it and it's gonna put the number right here. So next thing that I could do is I could take this little box right here in the bottom right hand corner, this is the autofill button, and I can just click and drag all the way down. And what it does is it actually changes my equation right here. So that's really helpful. 
All right, right over here where it says uh, session limit, okay, we are going to put in how many people we want to attend. So let's say, for instance, I want one person to be able to attend this session, um, five people here and two people here. I can customize it however I want. All right, next thing we're going to do is go over here to revise session name. So this is what we'll do. We're just going to type equals. So I'll type in equals right here, and we're going to do an if equation. And we're going to open up our parentheses. So we're going to say that if C2 is less than D2, then you're going to make sure that this name appears. If not, open. I'm going to put in quotation marks the message that I wanted to say. So I'll say uh, time slot is filled, choose another. And then I need to make sure that I close the uh, parentheses and I also close the quotations. Okay, so right now it's going to say this. And once again, the autofill, I can just drag this down. Okay, so the next thing is, is I'm going to go to my Google form. So if I'm in Google forms right here, I'm going to go to this little puzzle piece, this add-on, and um, as you can see, I already have Form Ranger on here, but how do you actually get Form Ranger? Well, if you click on these three vertical dots, you want to go right here where it says add-ons. And in add-ons, you're going to see all kinds of different add-ons that you can get. So if you st start typing in Form Ranger, okay, you're going to be able to see that this is it. And then what you would do is you'd click on it, it says free, and it would install it. So it has to be installed in order for it to run. All right, so once it's installed, you're going to go right here to your add-ons tab, and you're going to notice right here where it says Form Ranger, you're going to click on it. And we're going to choose Start. When that starts, you're going to see that this pane comes up over on the side. Now there's some other bells and whistles that you can use on this, but I'm just going to show you just very simply how to create a list that auto populates based on answer. All right, so um, what we have here is it looks through all of our multiple choice or checkbox or list types of questions and puts them right here. Um, so this is the sign up time box, and as you can see, it's right here. First name and last name don't appear because they're text based questions. So we're going to choose right here where it says populate from values list. We're going to select a new values list. When we do that, we're going to get this, and it's going to say, which data are we looking at? Well, the name of my um, document that I've been working with, my, my form, is called sample form, but the responses are actually right here. Th this is the spreadsheet where they're working in. So I want to select right here. We're going to be looking in the spreadsheet where all my answers are collected, and I'm going to hit select. So then what I'll do right here is I will let it populate. And it's going to say, well, select the sheet. Which sheet in your, in your Google Sheets are you going to be working with? And remember, this right now, I changed it from uh, response to, or form two to session limit. So we're actually talking about whatever the name of this tab is down here. So I'm just going to choose that. Mine is named session limits. So then it's going to ask me, well, what column are we working with right now? Okay, and we're going to work with revised session name. Okay, so that's that's really, really important. All right, so I'm just going to close this real quick so that we can see this. You're going to hit next. You're going to give this values list a name. So if I just uh, put in you know, session names, whatever you feel like doing, that's fine. Hit save and populate question. So it's really not going to look like much has happened at all. Uh, what you may want to do is you may want to go back to the add-on. You may want to go back to Form Ranger and hit Start. Okay, And when you do that, just so that in the future, it will automatically populate on your form submission for every hour, you may want to do, just turn those on. Okay, So I'm going to hit Exit. All right, so the next thing is, is actually sharing this form. So to share this form, um, I can hit send, and I can get the link right here. I can even shorten the URL if I want, if I'd like to. Oops, it'll shorten it down just like that. Um, I can copy and paste it into an email. There, there's all kinds of different ways of doing that. All right, so here's how this works. I'm just going to open up a new tab. I'm going to paste in the URL, 
and I'm going to go right to my form and I'm going to show you how this works. So this is my form. So I'll put down Matt, I'll put down Bergman. I'm going to sign up. If you remember from one to two, I decided that that had one spot. So back here on the back end, session limits, I said that we were going to have one spot open uh, for that. So I'm going to hit submit. Now I could submit another response. There was a link to do that. Um, I accidentally closed out. So I'm just going to go back into our form again. And here we go. We have, you know, your name. And check this out. The time slot is filled. Please choose another. Now technically students can actually, or whoever you have signing up, can still click on this. But it says time slot is filled. Choose another. Now if I go into my Google form, okay, and here's my form responses. It'll show that I signed up from 1 to 2 p.m. In my equation right here, it says time slot is full. If I ever want to change this, I can. I can simply just change the number. So if I wanted to change it to two, it'll go back to this. Now the big thing is, is when you are working with your form, you'll probably want to refresh your questions because see how this is not working? So I'm going to go right here to add-ons. I'm going to go to Form Ranger. I'm going to hit Start. And what I'll do then is I will just go right here to where it says refresh questions. When I click on refresh questions, you can actually now, let's just preview this one, I'll show you. See it right here. So that's how you do it. It's really easy, it's really simple. Um, there's many different ways of doing it, but I typically use the Form Ranger add-on and I use Google Forms. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me and uh, have a great day.